It's time now for Jesus is the Answer with Pastor Peter, coming to you from the International Christian Fellowship in Northeast Philadelphia. International Christian Fellowship is a Bible-believing church that preaches the uncompromised Word of God and prays for you and your needs. Pastor Peter is bringing the message of salvation, healing, and deliverance throughout the world. Now, here is Pastor Peter. Hello, praise the Lord, and welcome to Jesus is the Answer. This is Pastor Peter. I'm going to pray for you and your needs. And I believe that our God is going to supply all our needs according to His riches and glory by Christ Jesus. If you can see the number on your screen, please call and someone will pray for you and your needs. At the end of the program, I'll be praying for you. So please, care, please tell somebody to listen to this program. I believe that you are going to be blessed. We are studying about Jesus' ministry, the healing ministry. And we are studying because we want to know more about what Jesus Christ has done. We are going to believe it. We are going to receive it. And we are going to preach. And other people are going to be blessed. I want each and every one who gets healed, who gets healed, go and tell somebody. And the somebody will tell somebody. And the whole world will know what Jesus Christ is doing. Today we are going to look into one lady who was Jewish lady. And she was bent over for 18 years. That story is given in Luke chapter 13. Now her name is not given, but Jesus Christ calls her the daughter of Abraham. Now this lady was bent over for 18 years. You can imagine the situation. Thank God she was not in the 21st century. Otherwise she would not be able to walk uh, on the highways or cross the street. She will be getting into more problems. But somehow the word of God says she was having infirmity and she had the evil spirit cause this infirmity. Even though this was sickness or some kind of problem but the enemy caused this problem all the time st. John chapter 10 verse 10 says enemy comes to kill steal and destroy Jesus says I have come to give you life and more abundant life so when Jesus saw this lady he called her I was thinking Jesus could go to her but he called her maybe she was in the crowd and he said come forth and when, when she came, Jesus Christ said, You are going to be healed from these infirmities. You are not going to be walking like this anymore. You are not going to be bent over anymore. And then he laid his hand on her back. He doesn't say back, but he says, Lay, Laid hand on her. And immediately, she was able to straighten out herself and be completely normal. And people saw and they were amazed. But this was happened on the Sabbath day. So as soon as she, she was healed, other people start complaining. And Jesus Christ asked them a question. If you have a donkey tied up on a Sabbath day, will you loosen that donkey and take it to the water. Then he said, this is the daughter of Abraham. Satan bound her for almost 18 years. And she is free. She is loosed. Why are you complaining? And they could not say anything, but start praising God and glorifying God. Jesus wants to heal you. But the enemy doesn't want to be, doesn't want you to be healed. Enemy will bring all kinds of obstacles. You are in America or anywhere in the world. There are ministers on television and they come sometime in your town. But when you want to go, so many obstacles will come. Here this lady didn't know 
But Jesus Christ is going to heal her that day. But Jesus Christ saw and called her. I thought when Jesus Christ is calling her, Jesus wanted to know if she wants to be healed. When she came forth, Jesus Christ healed her. 18 years of infirmity, 18 years of sickness and disease, Jesus healed immediately. No doctor can do this within a split second. They might have some kind of devices today in 21st century, but it will not be so cheap, it will not be that great. But Jesus Christ made her normal. I saw one lady, she was lying on her bed for eight years. They tried everything, nothing worked. One of her sisters came to me, she said, please come to my house. My sister is sick for eight years. When I went to her house, this was a village. I went to her house and I went to the room and I looked everywhere. I said, where is your sister? She said, she's lying on the bed. I looked at the bed and I could not find her. She said, she's there. She uncovered the, uh, the covering and she was there. From that you can see she was skin and bones. I looked at her and said, Sister, Jesus wants to heal you. But I want to know if there is anything bothering you right now. She said, My tooth is hurting so much and this pain is unbearable. I said, Okay, I'm going to pray for you first. And I touched my hand and prayed for her. Immediately the pain left. And she started smiling. I said, where is that pain? She said, it's gone. I said, the same Jesus who took care of that pain, he is going to heal you. And I laid hand on her and prayed for her. And I told her, You're, you'll be completely healed. I'll come back to check on you. And I left. Three months later, I went to that village looking for that girl. And one lady was washing dishes on her front yard. So I asked her, Sister, a couple of months ago I came here to pray for one sister. Where is she? She said, that's me. I could not recognize her. She said, I'm healthy. And my husband heard it. And he came to pick me up. He's sitting under that tree. I said, when are you going? She said, today I'm going to my home. My husband's house. And she was so happy. See, when she was eight years bedridden, her husband didn't need her. her. Her husband didn't want her. But when she got healed, the news went to his home and he came to pick her up. Our God is a healer. Eight years the lady suffered. But Jesus Christ healed her. There was another lady. She was, when she was five years old, she got this asthma. And she was suffering for almost 20 years. Now she was 25 years old. In her house, she had medical doctors. They were not poor, they had money. They tried everything, changing the climate, going to different areas. But she was not getting better, but getting worse. And she was engaged to marry one young man. He used to come and play the piano in our church. But when she comes, he will leave the songs and music and everything and he will take his bike and go away. This girl will leave, leave her books and everything and she will go after him. And I talked to her, I said, Sister, why don't you give your heart to Jesus Christ? Jesus wants to heal you. She said, no, I want to get married with this man. You pray that he will marry me. 
But the man said, if she's not healed, I'm not going to marry her. One day I saw a dream that she's in a, she's in a deep well and Jesus wants to rescue her. And I told her she didn't pay attention. Later on I saw another dream that she is lying on her bed and she is dying. And she is telling one of her brothers, go and call Pastor Peter. And I told her that dream. She ignored it. And one day she was really on her deathbed and dying. So, so she sent that boy on the bicycle. And my dream came true. So I went to her house. I said, sister, if you die, what will happen to your uh, friend who wants to marry you? She said, he is not in my heart. I don't need him anymore. I said, then there is a room for Jesus. Call upon Jesus. Ask Jesus to come into your heart. He will touch you. He will heal you. And you will be never be the same. I led her to Christ. I prayed for her. Jesus healed her completely. She came to church. And the man saw her. She was so beautiful. Her youth came. And so she, he said, will you marry me? Now they are married. And they are happily married. The point I am making, 20 years of suffering. Jesus Christ healed that girl. When? When she received Jesus Christ as her Lord and Savior, that's the time she was healed. She was coming to church, but she was not paying attention to any preaching or anything. Her mind was in the man, but the man was not paying attention to her. But when she received Jesus Christ as her Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ healed her. See. Jesus wants to heal you, but you do not want any part of Jesus. You are minding your own business, or you are thinking the medicine will heal me. I don't want church, I don't want to go to church, I don't want to pray, I don't want to read Bible, I don't want any part of Christianity, or I don't want to believe Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. That's why people are suffering. Some people might be saying, oh, there are people they go to hospital, they get healed, and uh, why are you saying this? Oh well, yes, people can go to hospital. No doctor will ask you, do you believe in Jesus Christ? No, God, no doctor will ask you, will you confess your sins? Then only I will treat you. No. Their job to treat you physically. But Jesus heals you physically, spiritually, emotionally, everywhere. So once Jesus comes in, the enemy goes out. Sickness, disease, infirmity will go out and you will be completely healed. You never gave your heart to Jesus Christ. Then you would say, well, I don't know how Jesus heals. Jesus heals inside out. Once you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you will see changes in your life and your life will be no way the same. I see hundreds and thousands of people who are suffering with the sickness, disease, financial problem and physical problem, mental problem, all kinds of diseases. But when they receive Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, something happens. Their life transforms and they live a normal Christian life and then they will go and testify to somebody and they will tell somebody what Jesus Christ has done. You don't have to tell them but they will do it for the glory of God. So I'm going to give you a chance. You just call upon Jesus. I don't know what your problem is but the greatest problem is the sin. Sin can take us to hell. People do not want to believe in hell. But I did so many programs on hell. Hell is real. Heaven is real. God wants you to take you to heaven. And when you are in this world, He wants to 
make you happy and joyful. Sickness and disease will not make you happy and joyful. There are some people when they get sickness and disease, they said, God gave it to me. God does not give you sickness and disease. Our God is a loving and He is kind and He wants you to be happy, healthy and joyful. There is nothing impossible with God. If you give your heart to Jesus Christ, He will touch you, He will heal you, He will deliver you and He will set you free. I'm going to give you a chance. Give your heart to Jesus Christ and say, Lord Jesus, please come into my heart be my Lord, be my Savior. Please forgive all my sins and wash me with your precious blood. Touch me, Lord, and heal me right now. In Jesus' name I pray and I call it done. Amen? Now, once you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, something happens. The old habit will go away. Old sickness and disease will go away. Now see this lady who came to Jesus Christ, she was not looking for Jesus. But Jesus was looking for her. And so same way, you might be not looking for Christ, but Jesus Christ is looking for you. This might be an accident that you are watching the program. Or you never wanted to watch, but you start flipping the channel. And somehow you got somebody talking to you about your sin, your sickness, and your disease. Like I said, that lady I told her, give your heart to Jesus Christ, Jesus will heal you. But she is going after a man. And man is running after something else. But once she realized that it's not going to work, let me die, and I want to go to heaven. I said, you are not going to go to heaven with sin. You have to confess your sins to Jesus Christ. When Jesus Christ will come into your heart, He will transform you. You are young. You don't have to die like this. But you are running after somebody. But now, you give your life to Jesus and Jesus will heal you. Jesus healed that lady. Same Jesus wants to heal you. But what was the obstacle? The sin. Now, when we prayed and you asked Jesus Christ to come into my heart, be my Lord, be my Savior, please forgive all my sins, wash me with your precious blood, He has done it. It doesn't take much time. Instantly, He heals you. There is a power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Jesus wants to save you, heal you, deliver you and set you free. Now you already prayed. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to pray for your loved ones. What you have to do, you have to tell them your story. You have to tell them that I was a sinner. I received Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. And He touched me, saved me, healed me and delivered me. And He set me free. And I'm a free man. Once you testify to somebody they are going to listen to you because people are watching you all the time if you are a sick person and you tried and tried and tried everything nothing worked if you are a minister and you want to do great things for the Lord but physically you cannot do it and you have so many plans but you never asked Jesus Christ to heal you. Some people I met, and when they are sick, I said, did you ask God to heal you? Oh no, I don't ask my problem to God. I pray for somebody else, but I don't pray for myself. God wants you to ask Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ asked many people, even the blind people, what do you want me to do? Jesus wanted them to say, I want my sight. Jesus Christ is a healer. He is a deliverer. He wants to set people free. But people, they have to have a desire. Some people tell me, 
Why don't you go to the blind hospital? Why don't you go to deaf hospital? Why don't you go to every hospital and pray and let the people be healed? Do you know, today many hospitals, they don't want minister to come to their, their places. You need a special permission. But the, when they call me, I go and people get healed. Other day I was just visiting and one man saw Bible in my hand and he said, are you minister? I said, yes. He said, could you come and pray for my wife? She's in coma for many, many, I don't know, years or months. So I said, okay, I'm going to come and pray for her. He said, but she, is, uh, she doesn't understand English. I said, I'm not talking to her. I'm going to talk to Jesus Christ. So I said, okay, I'm going to pray. When I went there, the lady's eyes were closed and she was not looking or not talking. I prayed for her in the name of Jesus. And, and I said, Amen. The lady said, Amen. And she opened her eyes. And I lifted up my hands and I said, Praise the Lord. And she said, Praise the Lord. And pretty soon I heard, I heard next day or so, they took her home. What I'm trying to say, Jesus Christ is a healer. But somebody has to come and ask for it. If that man didn't tell me, I would not know. But when he said, I went and I prayed for her. So the point I'm making, Jesus wants to heal you. You already gave your heart to Jesus Christ. Now I'm going to pray for you. And if you have loved ones, you touch them. And you pray for them. And you will see the miracle hand of God. There is nothing impossible with God. You have to have a courage. You have to have a testament. You have to have some kind of God's power. We cannot heal anybody with our own power and own strength. I always tell people, Jesus is the healer. No man can say, I'm a healer. Some people call themselves the healer. I say there is no man can heal anyone without Jesus Christ. When Jesus heals, he heals you permanently. But the devil always try to bring problem again and again. The word of God says, resist the devil and he will flee from you. So I'm going to pray for you. I'm encouraging you to pray for somebody. As I pray, you pray with me because now you are a child of God. Your sins are forgiven. Your name is written in heaven and you belong to God. Matthew chapter 18 verse 19 says, Two people agree touching anything. He will hear our prayer. So I believe God is going to listen to your prayer and my prayer. So let's pray. Touch somebody. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for the people who are listening or who are watching this program. Let them touch you by faith. Let them believe that Jesus Christ is a healer. Lord Jesus, whatever the disease they have, maybe incurable disease, maybe doctor told them there is nothing they can do. But let them trust in you. And you heal them, you deliver them, you set them free. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and Amen. Now, once someone prays for you, or you are prayed for, what you do? You have that supernatural faith in your side. And you're going to say, no matter what, I'm going to do the things which I was not able to do before. If you want to walk, you walk. You want to open your eyes and see, you can see. If you are bent down, try to get up. There was one lady came and she, she could not bend down. And I touched her back in the name of Jesus 
and I said, touch her toe, touch your toe. And she did. See, this lady was not able to get up. Other lady was not able to bend down. But anything, any problem you have, God can do the miracles. There is not, nothing impossible with God. You just got healed right now. What you do? Tell somebody. Go to church. Call your friends. Testify. If not, go to the doctor to make sure that you are healed. I guarantee you, your doctor will be surprised. I send people to the doctor and they, they, they come and tell me. I'm surprised that my doctor also is surprised. The other day one man came and he had the prostate problem. I prayed for him. And um, he went to the hospital for checkup. And when the checkup came, there was no trace of any problem. And then doctor said, what happened? He said, my pastor prayed for me. And he had a checkup after six months. And last Sunday he comes and he says, I got a report that I have no problem at all. No symptoms, nothing. Who did it? Jesus did it. Now he's testifying what God is doing. So what I'm trying to say, go to your doctor, have a checkup. And once you have a checkup, you will feel better that you are healed. And then you can go and tell others. But important thing is, start reading the Word of God. Start reading from the book of St. John. And read that book at least three times. And you will be now be the same. Time is almost gone. But I want to encourage you and you encourage others. If you are healed, you pray for others and other people will come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. That's the reason I'm doing this program. I want to encourage you. I believe God has started a good work and He will be completed. He will complete. Now, may God richly bless you and use you more and more for His Glory. Amen and amen. You've been listening to Jesus is the Answer with Pastor Peter of International Christian Fellowship in Northeast Philadelphia. If this program has been a blessing to you, please let Pastor Peter know. Write to Pastor Peter at Post Office Box 5033, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 19111. Again, that's Pastor Peter, Box 5033, Philadelphia, PA, 19111. Pastor Peter and his prayer partners are taking your calls right now. The number is 215-342-3759. Again, that's 215-342-3759. You can also send email to icfprayerline at comcast.net. Every Sunday at 11 a.m., International Christian Fellowship has a worship service with communion and healing service. You can find more information at www.internationalchristianfellowship.org. This is a faith ministry. Your prayers and financial support are greatly appreciated. And please remember to tune in next time for Jesus is the Answer.